Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, and it reads, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Verse 6, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bell, we ain't got to see something to believe in it. But then the Lord turned right around and showed us everything that we had faith in before we seen it. And he shows us, man. All right? And, and what does that do? That enhances our faith. All right? When we, when we believe in something that we don't see, that's called faith. But when the Lord actually shows us what he had us believing in before we even seen it, guess what that does? That enhances our faith. And what is faith? We got, we got it on the screen. Faith. Complete trust. Or confidence in someone or something, even though we ain't seen the Heavenly Father and His Son in this lifetime. Been given a gift of faith. And it's a beautiful thing to wake up and still believe in the names, the proper names in the Hebrew tongue. Still believe, you know what I'm saying, the word. Because, Lord, look, man, the Lord don't need us. He don't got to give us His word. He didn't have to give us the word. Beings of Israelite men on the face of the earth. Beings of Israelite women on the face of the earth. Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth. And only the small remnant has been given faith to believe in these men. The only the words of salvation, the fountain of living water. And when you think about it, it's, it's mind boggling. You know, it, it was of the Lord's will. It wasn't nothing that we did. To deserve this faith, and you can't go to the corner store and buy. You can't say, "Let me get five dollars worth of faith." I mean, let me get, let me get a thousand dollars worth of faith. No, man, this place is going down, and our people still got faith that it ain't going down. But we got faith that it is going down, and we ain't got to see nothing. The scriptures, the spirit, you know. But but then on top of all that, because remember, faith is a gift, and faith is to believe in something that you don't see. Then, as, then the Lord actually comes right back and shows us that he's bringing this place down. Just look around. Take a good look, Israel. It's going down. Babylon is falling. It's falling, Israel. And it's going to burn so come. And you ain't got to believe, right? Let's get it again. Hebrews chapter 11. It's something quick. About to head out. Something quick. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when we tell our people, According to the Bible, to turn back, repent, because this place is going to be destroyed. They said, nah, man, that, my grandma been talking about that. My daddy, my mama, my granddaddy, he wasn't really into it. But, you know, I, I mean, they, they, look, people have been telling me this all my life. I don't believe it. Because they're putting off the evil day. Evils, and only evil, they're putting off the evil day. That this, this here, now. You see? But it, it, it truly takes faith to believe that this place is not going to bounce back. The Lord has given us the faith, you see, to believe in him and no one else, right? Let's jump down. I, I, look, look, their faith, you see on the screen, faith, complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Trust, belief, confidence. You see, that's faith. You see? Look, strong belief in, in Yahweh. Or in the doctrine, you see? So the Lord has given us faith to believe in this doctrine. You see? This doctrine, the correct breakdowns of the Bible, just like with the M-O-T to the B-B-B. The Lord has given us faith to know what it is. That karagma, you see, that uh, that G-5480, that incision, that imprinted mark, the Lord has given us faith to believe that that's what it is. And that is what it is, man. You remember, you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell without it. And the majority of our people are gonna be destroyed because of their unbelief, right? The Lord has given them strong delusions. He didn't give them faith, right? So we don't worry ourselves to death because they don't believe. Look, listen, verse 6, Hebrews 11 and 6, a quick little lesson on faith. But without faith, without look, without the full assurance 
the trust, the confidence, the belief, and what the scriptures are saying, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, what the Lord is saying, it is impossible to please him. So the Israelites that make fun of the word, they say they don't believe in certain books of the Bible. They, look, they might be Old Testament Israelites. They might be New Testament Israelites. So that's not faith at all. When you got faith in the Lord, you believe in the whole book. You believe in the, the Lord. What is it? Psalms 40 and 7. Behold, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. So you gotta, when, you, when you haven't been given the gift of faith, you believe in the whole book. All right? The whole book. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. To please who? The Heavenly Father and the Son. So, yeah, you can pass out um, hot dogs and turkeys and things of that nature, you know, and host parties and all that. But if you ain't got faith, look, our people don't got, look, these so-called Hebrew Israelites, we're going to call them, don't even have faith to believe in the proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and the Son. So, so we ain't got the names yet. You see, and all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Just remember that. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. You got to have faith to believe that. You see? You got to have faith to, to go through hell. Hell. And know that your power can deliver you from it. That takes faith. That takes strong faith too, man. Let's get this. Let's get Ephesians right quick. Like I said before, just a quick little lesson through the Spirit. Ephesians chapter 2. We'll woke up, wake up every morning, man. You know, when we wake up, man, just thanking the Lord that, that we were still able to allow, you know what I'm saying? We're able, the Lord is still allowing us to say these proper names in the Hebrew tongue. We, we still wake up believing in the word. We still wake up praying. Come on, man, all spiritual gifts, man. And it's all connected to faith, right? It's all connected to faith. Ephesians 2. And Lord willing, the elect is edified. Let's get this. Matter of fact, you know I got to go back. I got to go back. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8, for, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. So this was given to us as a gift. Don't take this gift lightly. The Lord tell me this each and every day. Don't take this gift lightly. You see? Because I didn't give it. This, this is a precious gift too. This, this is one of the most precious gifts that, that your, our power can give us. And I, I'm, I'm pretty much lost for words. I'm stumbling all over my words, trying to figure out words to describe what this, what this gift, you know what I'm saying, this faith means to me. You see? I'm getting, I'm getting tongue twisted. Look, what did the Lord say, verse 9? Not of works. So it won't nothing that we did. It's the will of the Lord that was given faith. It's the will of the Lord, Israel. It won't nothing that we did. Not of works. At least any man should boast. You see, so this, so this most definitely is a gift from you. How about Shem It won't nothing that we did. You see, let's get this though. Like I said before, just a quick little lesson through the Spirit. Lord, one of the elect is edified. Some of this phone addict got some sense. Bear with me. Second Ezra chapter fifteen. We jump right on down. 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse, um, let's see. I'm, I'm going to start at 1. 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak down the ears of my people, the words of prophecy. The Lord got us telling you what's going to happen before it even happened, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be in the paper. It's a quick little read. For, for they are faithful and true. But the words that are faithful and true, guess what? It takes faith to believe in the words that are faithful and true, right? Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity mean an unbelief. Don't worry about the people that don't believe in what you believe in and what we believe in, right? Well, remember, we was the ones given the gift of faith. Of course, they're not going to believe. Can't go home screaming at your daddy, screaming at your mama, screaming at your son, screaming at your daughter because they wasn't given the faith to believe in the words we were. All right? Fear not the imagination against thee. You can't be all at work screaming at your co-workers. You see, all in public, you know, on the damn bus, screaming at people because they wasn't given the gift of faith to believe. They don't got faith, all right? All right? So, of course, they're going to pick up a big-ass pork a hot dog and, you know what I'm saying, a pork chop. You know what I'm saying? They don't believe in the laws of the Bible. 
for us to be able to even rehearse the righteous acts. Remember Judges 5 and 11, you have to be given the gift of faith to even rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, man. All right? So, so let us be thankful, right? Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity mean and unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee for all the unfaithful. You see? It takes faith to believe in these words, right? Look, look, he will diligently reward those, uh, he will he will reward those that, that diligently seek him, right? For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. So the Israelites that are not taking heed to this word, the Lord taking them out. All right? And that, that's happening now. All right? And we ain't got to see every time the Lord jacks somebody up to believe that he's taking them out. We we yeah, we we know. We ain't gotta see it. We know. But then when we turn on the news and then when we go outside and things of that nature, we see the Lord performing his acts, man, performing his works, performing his duties. And it, and it puts more fear in us, right? It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And we ain't got to see it to know that it's happening. But we know it's happening because the Lord letting us see it. That's how cold the Lord is. People get kicked out left and right, right and left. Because it's all of the Lord, man. The Lord is doing everything. Perilous times. Seek the Lord. You look, you reap what you sow. Yeah, our people got faith in the world. That's, that's why you see them there in the world. You see certain Israelite groups that are worldly as hell. Because they got faith in the world. All right? They ain't got faith in the Lord. They got faith in the world. That's why they acting worldly as hell. You see? You, you should be able to know the difference. Let's get this though. Romans. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then Israel, a people before some place, have not obtained that which he seeketh for? What is our people looking for? The truth. The Lord ain't giving it to them, though. But the election have obtained it, and the rest was blinded. All right? So, so the majority of our people have been blinded from getting this truth. The Lord, look, it's, it's, it's not a worse. It ain't because of what they did and how they look. And, no, no. The Lord don't want them to get it. We, we're just going to leave it at that. The Lord don't want them to get it. The Lord didn't give them faith to believe in the words. All right? That's why certain dudes don't turn back from their wickedness. Certain women don't turn back from their wickedness. They wasn't given the gift of faith, man. That's why our people stood up in them damn church houses, believing in lies. Now, some of them are going to come out because it's the Lord's will. But the majority of them, you know they're going to stay in them holler houses, man, believing in that lying-ass pastor, man. All right? They ain't talking about nothing. He ain't talking about nothing. The rest were blinded. According as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear. What is that? Thessalonians? Let's see. Try to bring out a couple more and then I got to wrap it up because I got to roll. I got to roll. And remember, faith without works is dead. What is that? Uh, Thessalonians 3 at the bottom. I might have to pause and look for it. Let's see. Let's see. Was it two? Bear with me. Second Thessalonians chapter two. Jump down. Second Thessalonians chapter two. We we'll start at eleven. And for this cause, the Most High Yahweh shall send them strong delusion. So our people up on a strong delusion right about now. You look up the definition for the word delusion. It pretty much the Most High got them believing in lies. You see, the Most High put a spirit on them for them to believe in lies, man. The majority of our people believe in lies, right? The Lord got them up on a strong delusion, right? And somebody can put the correct definition in the board for this cause. The Most High shall send them strong delusions, that they shall believe a lie, not the truth. Remember, the Lord said, um, you can't please him without having faith in his word, right? So our people believe in lies, right? They believe in the Easter bunny, you know what I'm saying? The tooth fairy. You see, they believe that, it, that, that the Lord loves everybody. They believe that the Lord, you know what I'm saying, is a white dude. You see, all this other nonsense. Just anything that you can name that's a lie, our people believe in it, man. You see? Oh, yeah, the Lord got them on believing, you know what I'm saying, that the, uh, the M.O. to the T-T-B-B-B-B-B, you know what I'm saying, it's Christianity, it's sleeping with a white woman. The, the Lord put that spirit, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of unbelief in, on them, man. Had an angel put it on them. You see? The Lord's controlling everything. 
Whether you believe in the truth or whether you don't believe in the truth, it's all being orchestrated by the Lord. All right? The Lord controls our very thoughts. Just know that, man. All right? It says, for, for, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions that they shall believe in lie. Look, that they all might be damned, condemned, who believe not the truth. And starting out with the head apostles, their elders, the elder bishops, the great millstone, and the men on down, what do we give you? 100% truth according to the Bible. But they don't believe it. The Lord said they all might be damned, condemned, man. And there, there you go. You got damned in the Bible, all right? He cursing, he cursing, he cursing. Don't even know what a curse is. The curse is the opposite of a blessing, man. All right? When you curse somebody, you're pretty much praying to the Heavenly Father to bring harm upon them, bring evil, evil upon them, right? This is, this is what we call rude speech. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's our people. Because they haven't been given the gift of faith, man, to believe in the word. So, of course, they're going to commit wicked acts. You see? Of course, they're going to say the Lord died for us so we can be as wicked as we want to because we're all forgiven already. Come on, man. That don't make no sense. We can eat whatever we want to. The Lord, you know what I'm saying, said everything is clean. Shut up. Just shut the hell up, man. You know, I just want to do something through the spirit, man. You know, I, I didn't forgot exactly what other scriptures I had in my brain, man. But faith without works, you, look, we haven't been given the gift of faith to believe in the word. Let's, let's bring forth action. Let's bring forth action. But Lord, one of the elect was edified. Man, just a quick little lesson on faith. It's impossible to please you, how about Shem Yahushai, without faith, all right? Which, which is a gift. We brought that out. And it won't, nothing that we did to, to receive faith. It was a gift, man. It was a will of the Lord. And look, and we showed off thankful. You know. So let that faith kick in. This place is done, Israel. All right? The Lord has given us the gift of faith to believe. Look, Amos 9 and 8, Zechariah 14, 12, all of the above, man. All right? Matter of fact, I got one more before I, before I close out. Let's just bring out one more. Let's just bring out one more. You know. This is Malachi. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Listen to this. Then they that feared the Lord speak often one to another. Matter of fact, uh, what is it? Um, is that? that no, nah, that's Wisdom of Solomon, right? Which is this is a good one too. This is a good one too. So I just so I just go on and read it. I go on and read it. Malachi three and sixteen. Then they that fear the Lord speak often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance, which is the Bible, was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. It takes faith to believe in the names. Can't forget that. Throw the water you have by Shemel Shai. I was getting ready to go to something else, but the Lord want me to read this. I don't control nothing. All right? The book was written before him for them that feared the Lord. All right? Which is the beginning of knowledge. And they thought upon his name. The Lord has given us the gift of faith to believe in the proper names in the Hebrew tongue. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? And, and that, that, that's that's pretty much on that. You see? Uh, let's see. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads, they that put their trust in him, they that have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because remember, all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. You see? The gift of faith makes us understand the truth. All right? They that put their trust. Because you, you see right there, faith at the top. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And that's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? So they that put their trust, verse 9, they that put wisdom of Solomon, 3 and 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. You see, we understand the truth. We have been given to give up faith. That's why the majority of these Israelite groups don't understand the truth. You see? Because they don't trust Yahweh by Shai. You see? 
They lean it into their own understanding when Proverbs 3 and 5 tell us not to do that, commands us not to do that. And such as be faithful, oh, there here we go again, faithful, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he have care for his elect. All right? You see? So that, that's pretty much it. It ain't going to be the dead horse, man. Just something quick on faith. Lord, one of the elect was edified. Be thankful we have been given this gift of faith to believe in everything. It's written up in this Bible from front to back, from back to front. The water you have, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord, one of the elect is edified. On to the next. Shalom.